I'm back with a new crochet video, kind of new crochet video. Uh, this should be a pretty short one because I am working with a hair that I worked with before. The only difference is the first time I used it, I used it at full length, but this time I'm going to be cutting it in half. So I'm working with the Brook Curl. It's 22 inches. I have it in a color TT30. So it is probably 1D at the top, maybe, and then the bottom goes into that 30 color. Maybe it's mixed a little bit. Yeah, it's the uh, roots. It's the um, top of the hair is the 1D, and then it goes down to the 30 color. But when I cut it in half, it's going to be all blended together-ish. Yeah, it'll make it a nice blended color. I've done this before, and it turns out relatively nice. So, I'm going to get started. I'm starting out with 16 braids going straight back. Uh, my part is going to be, I guess, here. I don't really have a part braided in. <laughs> Every time I get my hair braided, I keep falling asleep while they're braiding it. But I think I'll make that the part. Because I'm going to do the invisible part, so it doesn't matter that it's not really close together. Because that will probably overfill the section by doing that uh, knotless part. So that's how much comes in one pack. I only have three packs, so I hope this works well enough. So when you do that in half, it'll be about shoulder length. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get started. I'll come when I have some done and just show you how I'm knotting. Because I'm not going to use the knotting technique I've been doing lately, which is just the triple loop. Because this is a silkier type of hair. And I've found that with those triple loops, I end up with a lot of my parts showing. Because when you do that loop, it kind of creates this little thin knot. So you have to put a lot of them or your scalp is going to show. And I don't have that extra hair to do that today. So I'm going to go back to the original knotting technique I did, which is, I think, a double loop, and then I actually tie a knot. So, let me get started, and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. Today is uh, Tuesday, November 1st. I finished my hair on Sunday, but I never got back online because it was so late when I finished it. But um, I wanted to show real quick the finished product of my hair, and also what I do to get ready for work, because this is the second day I've had it. So I sleep with the bonnet on. It's a little too small for my noggin, but it covers the hair, so that's all that counts. So, and this I haven't even put in a ponytail, I just put it under the bonnet. So that's what it looks like, taking the bonnet off, and this is what I do to do my hair. That's it. <laughs> For the most part, I may go through and separate a few pieces of hair, but really that is all I've been doing to do my hair. I'm hoping you can see it okay. I pretty much uh, cut it in half and just by putting the hair in, it created its own layers. Well, let's see. And really, the back of it, I probably need to add some more pieces to, but I'm not going to bother with it. Hope you can see that. I know I said that I was going to show how I knotted it. Um, I don't really see anywhere I can add one. Because I um, 
got tired of it and I ended up not doing an invisible part, but the way this hair is, you can't really see it anyway. And with the knotting that I did, I used such small pieces that there's not like a lot of evident knots in the hair. So that's me pulling the hair for you to see it like that. Otherwise, it's pretty, I don't want to say bushy, but it's fuller that you can't actually see it. So I love the way that it came out as far as color. Um, for anyone who's looking for like a perfect um, highlight blend of hair, and you're going to wear a shorter style, I suggest that you buy the hair that is colored at the tips and has the darker color at the top. Because then when you cut it in half, you get a perfect blend of both colors. And it gives you that perfect highlighting blended effect. So, um, I do want to show how I knotted it. I have to go to work. I don't have time to do it. But... If you look back at the original video for this hair, the Brook Curl, you'll see exactly how I knotted it this time. So I'm going to go to work and try and post this video before I go. So, bye. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Hey, I'm back. So as you can see, I did not find the time to post this video. I really wanted to show the knotting technique. Um, today is actually Sunday, so now it's officially been one week since my hair has been in. But I'm going to try and find a place, I think maybe here, that I can slip one of these in and show you how I knotted it. So, let's see. If I can get under this little bit of hair. Uh, normally I would never do this. I'm doing this for you. Okay. So I got it hooked on, closing it, pulling it through. never been able to do this very well in the camera all right so got to open the loop going through once and twice and pulling that shut then what I'm doing I have the two separate sides of hair so I'm making the knot which like I said with this hair you have it perfectly blended so you're gonna have one that's the dark color, and then one, that's the light color. It's the perfect blend. So what I'm going to do is take a piece from the dark side, and then a piece from the light side. Get the other two out of the way. Then I take this, and I'm tying it in a knot. The two pieces that I just got out. I guess you could say I tied it in two knots. I do it this way. My hands are really dry because I can barely grab this thing. Okay. There. And that's it. That was these. That knot's in there. So this hair will not go through again. So let's see how my hair looks after a week. And I still pretty much do it the same way. I just shape it out. But now I may have to fluff and separate them. I'm glad I came back on today because you can see the hair color better. The highlights and the blending of the colors. So yeah. So after one week, you know, instead of just shaking, I do have to do a little separating of clumps of hair. back is starting to get a little matted, but I, um, I am a nurse, so I've always got a stethoscope around my neck, and I'm pulling it off, pulling it on all the time, so sometimes the hair does get caught up in there, too, 
So maybe with normal wear, it won't be, it won't not as, or mat as fast, but it is gray right now. But it's not that bad. Yeah. That's about it. I'm really debating adding some more in the back. I want some more fullness back there. I don't like this little bit of hair that's back there. But the more I add, the more it's going to start tangling up in my stethoscope. So maybe I should leave it as is. And knowing how lazy and busy I am, I probably will. So, okay, just wanted you to see the hair. The short video is not short anymore. Questions or comments, leave them below.